Hi everyone, this is Aaron for Zolo Tech, and we're going to continue the iPad tutorials, and in this particular video, we're going to talk about notifications. Notifications can show up a couple different ways on your iPad, and the easiest way to see what notifications you might have through calendars and things like that is to pull down from the top here. Now that's built into any iOS 6 device, iPod, iPod Touch rather, iPhone, and iPad. So if you have iOS 6 or your device supports it, you'll have this option. Now there are some options for notifications. If you get a message or a text message on your phone or a message through messages, it can pop up in the center. It, it can also pop up along the top edge. And there's some settings for that. So go into settings, locate your settings icon. Here's mine. And here you'll see we have general, but right above that is notifications. If we tap on notifications, you can see we have do not disturb. We have sort apps manually or by time and in notification center. So these are all the different apps I have installed that can use notification center. And then below it says not in notification center. So let me pick an app here. Well, I guess we'll use the Apple store. So if I go into the Apple store, it can send me a couple different types of notifications. I can pick to not use notifications at all. I can just turn it right off. I can tell it how many items to show, show five, or 1 through 20. I can also have it give me the alerts in different places. So you can see we have the banner at top that comes up here. If I want it to pop in the screen, that's kind of the way iOS used to do things when the iPhone first came out. We can just simply tap and change that. We can also have it make a sound. It's a default sound that's set in your sounds here. And we can have it make a sound when it appears, as long as your iPad or iPhone's not muted. And we can also view it in the lock screen. So that means when I turn it off and turn the iPad back on, it will be waiting for me in the lock screen. So those are all the simple options you might have. But there's one for each individual one. And unfortunately, at this time, we can't turn them off for all of them at once if you don't want any notifications or on all at once. We have to go into each particular application individually. So here's Twitter. You'll see most have the exact same thing, badge app icon. So that what that will do is when you get a Twitter message, it'll actually keep the icon from Twitter that you see here. Well, that's actually Skype that you see here. It will actually show you that it's a Twitter notification. Pretty simple. Now, if we go up here, we do have an edit option. We can rearrange these, but that really doesn't do much for us. Now you can see here that we have do not disturb. And this is something that I've only come to appreciate recently. If you get a lot of messages or people that might not be considerate messaging you late at night, uh, that's possible. You may or may not have that happen. If you do, you can turn on do not disturb. Now this works for your iPhone as well and your iPod touch. And that's where I use it is on my iPhone. So you can see here we have scheduled. We, turn, we can turn that on and we can make this automatically go into do not disturb from particular times. So say we regularly go to bed at midnight and wake up at 7 a.m. or 10 p.m. as you see here. During that time, we'll have do not disturb on. So what that means is you will get a notification, but only if they attempt to get a hold of you twice in a row will it notify you. So you can see right here it says when do not disturb is enabled a moon icon will appear in the status bar and incoming FaceTime calls and alerts will be silenced and so if you're someone that wakes up easily from these things it comes in really handy so if we go back I'll turn scheduled off go back and it's off but you see that little moon icon will show up and our iPad or iPhone or iPod touch will be silenced so it's really a simple feature with a lot of options, particular uh, based on each notification or for each application rather. And one other thing I needed to show you is right here we have do not disturb. We can turn that on right now and we're in do not disturb mode. There's a little moon icon next to the clock right there at the top. So if we want to turn it on at any time, we can just switch it on when we don't want to use it, switch it off. And that can be found in settings, notifications, and here's all of your settings. If you have any questions or suggestions regarding this particular tutorial, or maybe suggestions for new tutorials, please place those in the comments below or message me or send me an email via zolotech.com using the contact form. If you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe. As always, thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.